Yes, and just like on this intersection, it's very popular to see the Golden Dome. It's also extremely popular, like you said, to see those green aprons. Here earlier today, I met Trina, who says ever since she started this job four years ago, she's been able to keep herself and her two children out of homelessness. Hello, Hi. I'm Trina and I've been doing the Curbside Chronicle for about four years out here at the Golden Dome. You may have seen Trina as a vendor off of Northwest 23rd in Classic. It's a blessing. If it wasn't for Curbside Chronicle Homeless Alliance four and a half years ago, I don't know how I would have been able to come up with the money to get my place. The Curbside Chronicle is a magazine sold by people transitioning out of homelessness. Thousands of people every month uh, participating, interacting with vendors, buying the magazine, reading it. And so to be on issue 100 is just really incredible and we're really excited. Ultimately giving them a chance to earn a living and afford housing. Not just the million dollars that, that customers put in the pockets of the folks that are selling the magazine and selling flowers at our flower shop. Uh, it's also our case managers working with folks to overcome those barriers. But the magazine doesn't stop there. They also help promote local artists, businesses, and more with new focuses each month. It's going to be the barbecue issue, so we're really excited. It's a lot of really great um, local barbecue establishments. Um, you know, some people driving in from hours and hours away to get some of our, our great food. So it's really exciting to highlight both the artists. You can see some of the illustrations in here that artists do. The Curbside Chronicle has been looking for ways to help the homeless community and promote local talents and services since 2013. And coming up in a few months, they'll be handing out their 100th issue. Not only me, but when I continue to buy these, it helps other homeless people get off the streets and get them into housing and whatever else that they need. And you can officially pick up their 100th magazine issue this July 1st.